Okay, today we're going to look at how we can write equations in slope-intercept form. And I kind of alluded to it in some of your classes today. So how do you, we're going to learn how to write an equation in slope-intercept form from a graph, a slope and a y-intercept, and from two points. So slope-intercept form, remember, is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. The other formula that we're going to use, we learned in the last unit, um, is we're going to use the slope formula today. Remember, that's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, so that's slope. And we're actually going to use the point slope equation as well. So we're going to take everything that we've learned in the last couple weeks and put it together to help us write these equations. So to write an equation from our graph, we have to find the slope and we have to find the y-intercept. So remember, again, that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. If I look at my slope, I want to pick two points that I can easily see here and here, for example. And I want to find the slope. Remember, slope is rise over run. So in this case, we're going positive 3 and positive 1, so our slope is 1 third. The y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, so right here, at 2. Or, if I wanted it in ordered pair, 0, 2. Okay. Now all I'm going to do is directly substitute into y equals mx plus b. So y equals the slope times x plus the y-intercept of b. So there is slope-intercept form from a graph. Give you some more examples. If I look at this, if I start at this point, I go negative 2 over here, positive 1. So my slope is negative 2 over 1 or negative 2. Y intercept, where it crosses the y axis, right here at 4. Subbing into y equals mx plus b, we're going to get y equals negative 2x plus 4. So now we want to write the equation from a graph. Again, this is a horizontal line. The slope is 0. Okay. My y-intercept is negative 4, and if I sub into y equals mx plus b, I'm going to get y equals 0, x minus 4, and 0 times anything is 0, so y equals negative 4. So in the video a while ago, in the last unit, we talked about vux hoi. Okay. And it's just a way to remember our equations of our lines. This is a erase this horizontal line. So I say horizontal. A zero slope, so that's zero, and y equals. Okay, so y equals whatever your y value is in your ordered pair is the equation. That is y equals negative 4. If it is a vertical line, straight up and down, it's vertical, undefined, I didn't leave myself enough room, and x equals whatever the x value is of your ordered pair. So now I'm just given a slope and a y-intercept, and I've asked, hey, find the equation of that line. Because, you know, someone on the street is going to ask you someday how to do this. Just walk up to you and say, do this. 
So remember, we've got y equals mx plus b. This is m. This is b. So y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4. Over here, slope in a y-intercept of 0, negative 3. Same thing, y equals 5x minus 3. Now, I can also write an equation through two points. And to do so, I've got to find the slope. And I'm going to sub the slope and the x and y coordinates from one of the points into this equation. And then we're going to solve for y. So here are my directions. And I want to find it, the equation of the line in slope-intercept form through <clears throat> 3, 1, and 1, negative 3. So the first thing I have to do is find my slope. So my y's, 1 minus a negative 3 over 3 minus 1 is going to be 5, oh my goodness, 4 <laughs> over 2, which is 2. And then I'm going to put my one of my points and my slope into point-slope form. So I'm going to get y, let's pick the first point, minus a negative 3 equals 2 times x minus 1. So this becomes plus. Now this is point slope form, but I want to put it into y-intercept form. So like we did in class today, we're going to distribute so that we get y plus 3 equals 2x minus 2, and then we're going to subtract 3 from both sides, and we're going to get y equals 2x minus 5. Another example. Okay, let's find the slope. One minus three, change in my y's over my changes in my x. Negative three minus four is going to be negative two over negative seven or negative positive two sevens. So now I'm going to put into my point slope form. So that I'm going to get y, and I'm going to pick the one with a 1 in it because it's easiest. It doesn't matter which one you pick. y minus 1 equals 2 sevenths times x minus a negative 3, which becomes plus 3. If all I asked for was the point slope form, you would be done. But I'm asking you for slope intercept form, so I'm going to distribute the two sevenths, so I get y minus one equals two sevenths x plus six sevenths. And then I'm going to add one to both sides and I'm going to get y equals two sevenths x. One is seven sevenths. So I'm gonna say plus 13 sevenths. I'm asking that you not change your fractions to decimals for this purpose. You guys got to get comfortable with fractions. Okay, so today you learned how to write a graph in slope-intercept form, or write a slope-intercept equation um, and from a graph and from two points. So have a math-tastic day.